All right, part eight. We're going to finish this right here, right now. God damn it. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Again, I'm surprised they got away with the, those kinds of jokes. It's like you don't realize what they were when you were a kid, but now it's like, wow. And it doesn't like ruin your childhood, really. It's just kind of like, wow, my childhood was badass. Like, it had balls to it. Like, it took chances, man. It, wow. <laughs> Oh, we went on a trip in the University City at Mill Creek to Wawa. My feet are cold. This looks like a job for super socks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My life. <laughs> Congratulations. How do you feel? I got it. Hey. <laughs> My first attempt at wrapping a gift. I'm the best. And anyone who's gotten a gift from me this year will know I haven't really gotten any better with gift wrapping. <laughs> oh, I must have... Oh, I remember this. Uh, this was when me, my brother, my cousins Anthony and Gina, my mom, and my Aunt Rhi all went to uh, New York City for a, a, the day. I think it was like the day before New Year's Eve. Um, and it was like there were a lot of people there during that day. Like it was, it was crazy. Um, and we were in Z Central Park. Nice. Take a nice deep breath through your nose. <laughs> yoga class in Mill Creek. Yeah, we had we actually had a yoga class there. Top that Eastern. <laughs> now I'm at Burger Twenty One. I'm already different. Um, we already know that. <laughs> Compensating? For what? Ooh, he thinks you have a small... <laughs> That's fine. After. Nice. Uh-oh. Please don't disappoint me. Screw you, Sony! Again, I... My thoughts are still the same. Uh, I hate... I, in fact, I think when I posted my review, I, I was a little more, like, soft on it. But, yeah, I... I, I hate Amazing Spider-Man 2. I hate it. Like, the only thing that I really like from that movie is his costume. Like, the costume was great. Everything else... It was just, you know, wasted potential, too much, you know, interference from Sony. They were trying to build this, like, Spider-Man movie universe or whatever with the Sinister Six. Like, uh, that movie is a dumpster fire on wheels. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> um, anyway, let's finish this up. Get up, you lazy bum. Come on, get up. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm lazy, too. And I still don't have a neck, apparently. How do you all things work out? That was one year ago today. Aw. <laughs> now I'm at Wendy's. Oh, that was when the, the Wendy's and Voorhees got all those renovations. What's the best one that can be story related to, plus the animation? Schmoes! I hated the film. I, I love working with voice actors who know... Oh. I guess that must have been my uh, my first day of my first day of college, and yeah, I think that's it. So there we go. That's every single Vine post that I've ever made, and uh, wow, <laughs> um, I feel like you kind of peered into my uh, my state of mind during that during that time from 2013 to let's say up to like fall of 2014. Um, I don't really know ex how many exactly I made like into like overall, but yeah, 
No, I think I said like over like 400. So yeah, I went over like 400 vines there. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we go. Um, thankfully, I, I got better. Hopefully, I mean, you know, fingers crossed. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll miss you, Vine. You were a lot of fun. I, I liked a lot of the stuff that I, that people posted on Vine. And uh, yeah, Vine is dead. Long live Vine. <laughs> um, anyway, let me know, uh, did you, do you miss Vine? D did you have a Vine account? Um, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you like what you saw here, feel free to click that thumbs up button, share this video with your friends, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe if you want. And hopefully I'll post something, you know, not reacting, me not reacting to... Uh, hopefully I don't post anything where I'm reacting to something anytime soon. Uh, next video will probably be something different. You know, again, fingers crossed. But, uh, excuse me. Until next time... I'm Mark Aquino, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a time where many of us, myself included, aren't feeling very happy or assured or content with how the way things are right now or how things are going to be in the foreseeable future. Whether it's in politics, entertainment, our own personal lives, the, this constant racism and sexism and the struggle to figure out what's opinion and what's fact. I mean, it's just leaving a lot of us with this overall feeling of, of dread and hopelessness and uncertainty. And if you ask me, we need to find a place to just get away from all of that, even if it's just for a short bit of time. And where better to do that than at the happiest places on Earth? Disney parks. I mean, if the Disney parks can do anything, it's make us feel better and cheer us up and help us to, you know, take our minds off of all the bad stuff that's been going on lately. Am I right? Subscribe!